Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. In this video, we're going to take a look at a technique called resampling. And we're going to use this in combination with Native Instruments Reactor. And we're going to use inside Reactor a instrument which is called the Travelizer, which is a granular synthesis instrument, which allows us to take samples and really do some interesting processing to them. The samples that we're going to use for this are going to be samples that we create ourselves as parts in our track. So we're going to take existing parts in our track and create new parts out of them using this resampling and granular synthesis processing idea. So I've created a little example track. I'll just play it for you quickly and then we'll get into the tutorial. That was created using the resampling technique by resampling this sine arpeggio lead. So this is a processed version of that. And then this part here, actually these two, let's listen to this one because this one's a little cooler. This part here. kind of almost arpeggiated sounding pattern is made from these FM chords. So using samples of those parts, I created these additional parts and then also these little these things. I can't remember what that was originally, but it was one of the parts in the track. So we're going to do a couple things. What we're going to do first is we're going to create audio out of some of the parts in our tracks, and then we're going to load them into Reactor, into the Travelizer, and set it up so that we can record the output of the Travelizer. This is the way that I like to do it, and this is kind of the fun part of this tutorial. We can set up the Travelizer and kind of perform with it, and just kind of jam with it, and then then record a bunch of stuff and then cut it up to make details and pieces, which is what I've done here. So we're going to start out by choosing the parts that we want to mess with. So I was using the sine arpeggio, this, I'm going to just turn off looping and just bounce in place this one piece. So we'll call this sine arp rs for resample vid. And then destination is new track, that's fine. The source we're gonna leave because we don't wanna mute it. Um, I'm not gonna bypass the effect plugins because I'm gonna keep the EQing and stuff that I had. In this case, we don't need the effect tail. Um, and then we can turn off volume and pan automation. and Hit okay. Okay, so now as you can see, it's created our sample. Notice because I had the reverb here on a bus, it's come out on a bus here too. So this is actually, it's actually dry. Okay, so then what I would do is go through and bounce in place each of my parts. Because I'm doing this for the video, I'm just gonna focus on this one, but you would do the same process for each part that you wanted to resample. 
now what I'm going to do is let's load up a new software instrument track and I'm going to load up Native Instruments Reactor. I'm using Reactor 5, but this will work with other versions of Reactor as well. I'm going to load it in stereo and then I'm going to go to my factory content instruments, open the instruments panel, go to sample transformer and you'll see in the subfolder here, here is the travelizer. I'm going to take this and drag it over to the workspace over here. Now it's going to ask me if I want to create a local copy. I do because I, I don't want to, I want this version of the travelizer to be saved with my song. So I'm going to choose create local copy and then I'll call this travelizer vid and I'm going to save it in my resampling video reactor folder, which is the folder for this track. Hit save. Let's say it's automatically saving to there. That's what I want. And now we're going to go to push the A button here to bring up the view. And here is the travelizer. Now I'm going to use the caps lock keyboard. All right, let's just mute it for a second. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go double click on the sample here. And this is going to bring up the area where we can load what samples are in here. Now these are the default samples, right? So I'm actually going to highlight all of them. I just did that by shift clicking and then hit delete. Delete seven samples. Yes. And then I'm going to go in the browser here and I'm going to go to my volumes and I'm going to navigate to my folder that has the samples in it. I'm going to go to the audio files folder and here is my sign ARP RS vid sample, right? Take that and drag it over to the sample map. And now it's loaded. Our sample. So now that we've got, let me just make this a little quieter. Now that we've got our sample loaded in there, we can start to do some processing. Now I'm actually going to do the processing in the next video. What I'm going to show you in this video is just how to set it up and get it ready to do that. So what I'm going to do is let's close this up and I'm actually going to mute this again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to take the track now that has our instrument ready to go on it. And we're going to take the output here where it says stereo output and we're going to route it to let's use, I used bus 41. So I'll use that again. I'm going to route it to bus 41. You can use any bus that you have available. And now that we've got the signal going to bus 41, we can test. So you can see that a signal is reaching bus 41 and then we're going to create a new audio track. Now I'm going to go to the new tracks dialog, select a new audio track. And before I create the track, I'm going to go down here. We'll set the format to stereo and the input is going to be bus 41. So now what we're going to do is we're routing the output from the reactor track into a bus and then we're creating a new audio track which is listening to that bus and we could record enable it to begin with and then hit create. And now if we unmute, we can see here in audio seven that the signal is reaching the audio track. Now let's just solo these two. If I hit record, what's going to happen? Let's take it back to the beginning. If I hit record, As you can see, and maybe we'll turn up the signal on this while we do this. We can see that the output from the reactor track is going through bus 41 and audio seven is now recording bus 41. So I'm using this for 
obviously using reactor, right? But you can actually use this with anything. You could have, you could record rewire instruments this way. You could record other performances with other effects. You could route one of Logic's synths into a configuration like this and just jam around with it to record some audio. And if I'm just gonna be experimenting and making weird sounds, I like to record the audio as opposed to the automation because if I'm moving a lot of parameters, I'm gonna end up with a whole mess of automation that can be kind of difficult to work with. So just recording the audio, I then just have that performance captured and then I can take it to the next stage of resampling it and sprinkling it throughout my track. So what we're gonna do is now that we've got it set up, we're gonna leave this video there and in the second video, I'm gonna go in and actually go through the Travelizer a little bit and do a little performance and do some resampling. So hopefully that's been helpful for you. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to receive more videos like this, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to learn more about Logic, you can check us out at dubspot.com where we offer a 48 class course, both online and at our school in Manhattan in New York City. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my music, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.